mom wanted a lumberjack and white picket fences. But instead, she got a loving man from a culture that turns away women with strawberry hair. She became familiar with foreign words and harsh tones bouncing off the walls of a communal taxi cab custom to the Philippines before she became familiar with love. There are so many walls. Dad wanted to leave his homeland to fight for another country, but even during his layover in Chicago, stairs were directed to the walls while my dad stood with his possessions in a suitcase. In that new country, he was met with people who squinted in response and asked if he was going to eat a dog for dinner that night. There are so many walls. The habit of raised voices is familiar to my father, but not so much to my mom. So when he's exclaiming how good a certain piece of toast is, or how righteous the Sunday post is, or how pretty a sunset looks in a confining car, it sounds as if he's angry. There are so many walls. My parents only seem like my parents if they're next to me because alone my dad is too Asian for my pale skin and my mom is too white for these eyes. I go out with my friends and it seems as if my childhood buddy is more like my mom's child. Their skin tones matching and their freckle count closer. There are so many walls. Before my mom met my dad, her extent of experience with Asia was contained within the walls of the town's only buffet. General Foe's chicken, a hot from just being microwaved. There are so many walls. Within the walls of my own home, I find myself passing mirrors or windows and stopping, picking up my eyes. Outside, I sit in the sun and hope for freckles, only I'm met with a darker tan and the words, It's a miracle you Asians don't sunburn. There are so many walls, even in places where they are not seen. In the supermarket, the walls are covered with items littered with stickers hidden at the bottom with the words, Made in China. Made in Vietnam. Made in Asia. Which people take as a sign that the item is no longer quality. There are so many walls. I've never been beaten up before, but when the voices mock me for being the only Asian girl at the table, or the only student that can eat raw fish without gagging, it feels the same as being pushed against a wall. China girl feels like being slammed. Kawhi feels like a punch. Chink is the sound I make when I fall. There are so many walls. During the seven plus years I've been in school, I've learned not to raise my hand too fast or too often as it might elicit an eye roll or a, of course she knows the answer. When I get less than a 100 on a test, the person on my right often asks me how many times my dad is going to beat me with a flip flop. There are so many walls. Mulan plays within the walls of my parents' bedroom TV, and I am laughing up Disney's only attempt at including kids that look remotely like me. Harry Potter sits within the walls of my bookcase, the character Cho Chang appropriately sorted into the smart house, appropriately a damsel in distress, appropriately my go-to Halloween costume. There are so many walls. My blanket suddenly seems so tight against me as my friend whispers how she wishes she wasn't white. How she wishes she were more unique. My mind wishes to be less different, less vulnerable. There are so many walls. People laugh when I fit chopsticks between my fingers, but have no reaction when I use a fork. Walls. People ask me what knees I am, and I stand stricken, confused. Walls. Follow the yellow brick road. Walls. I know you're not like ancient Asian, but I'm like still, still gonna use it as an insult. Walls. There are so many walls I've yet to break through. There are walls perfectly splitting my veins down the middle, half and half. My own home is one great big wall, and there are not enough peepholes, not enough loose bricks. There are walls that breach my connection to my family. There are walls with unmistakable, unbreakable blatant hate. So, Mr. Trump, do you really think that we need more walls?